A tremendous transition is taking place in the aviation industry as a result of the emergence of new engine technologies. These technologies are being developed to solve the combined challenges of boosting performance while simultaneously decreasing environmental impact. In light of the mounting concerns that the globe is experiencing with climate change, there has never been a greater demand for jet engines that are more environmentally friendly, efficient, and powerful. The future of jet engines appears to be on the verge of undergoing a significant transformation as a result of developments such as hybrid electric propulsion, sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, and new engine designs. To what extent, however, do these emerging technologies represent the future, or are they merely speculative trends that may or may not come to fruition? Hybrid electric engines, the promise of a more environmentally friendly aviation industry. Describe the concept of hybrid electric propulsion. By combining the technology of conventional jet engines with that of electric motors, hybrid electric propulsion systems have the potential to lower the amount of fuel consumed, pollution produced, and noise levels. To achieve the goal of using electric motors to power the aircraft during specific phases of flight, particularly during takeoff and landing, the conventional turbine engine will be used to supply power for cruising. Advantages reduced fuel consumption. Because hybrid systems make use of electricity, they can lower the amount of fossil fuel that is required during flight. Lower emissions. Electric motors do not emit any emissions while they are operating, which means that they have the potential to dramatically reduce the carbon footprint that flight leaves behind. In comparison to conventional jet engines, electric motors are far less noisy, which results in a reduction in the amount of noise pollution, particularly in the vicinity of airports. Examples of projects now under development include the following. Airbus E-Fan X. Airbus, in collaboration with Rolls-Royce, has been working on a prototype of a hybrid electric aircraft that is being referred to as the E-Fan X. One of the concept aircraft's four engines will be replaced with an electric motor, according to the hybrid system that will be featured in the aircraft. The Zero Avia project. To achieve zero emissions for regional flights, this business is focused on developing electric engines that are fueled by hydrogen. The middle of the 2020s is the target date for the development of aircraft that are capable of flying on hydrogen electric propulsion. The widespread use of hybrid electric propulsion confronts several hurdles, including the development of lightweight, high-capacity batteries and the infrastructure to support these systems at airports. Even though hybrid electric propulsion shows significant potential for regional flights and short-haul operations, widespread adoption faces several challenges. Sustainable aviation fuel, often known as SAF, is the key to more environmentally friendly air travel. The SAF, what is it? SAF, which stands for Sustainable Aircraft Fuel, is a biofuel that was developed primarily for use in aircraft. SAF is created from renewable sources, including plant matter, waste oils, and even carbon extracted from the air, in contrast to traditional jet fuel, which is also produced from fossil fuels. SAF may be included in jet engines that are already in operation without requiring any modifications, providing an immediate option to reduce the carbon footprint of aviation. Advantages Reduction in Carbon Emissions when compared to conventional jet fuel, SAF has the potential to cut carbon emissions over its entire life cycle by as much as 80%. Compatibility with existing engines. SAF is drop-in, which means that it can be utilized in existing jet engines without the need for changes. This makes the move to SAF an easy one for airlines. Support for sustainable practices. The manufacture of SAF facilitates the conversion of organic waste into fuel which in turn provides support to the agriculture and waste management industries. Challenges and adoption. On the other hand, despite the benefits, the widespread implementation of SAF is met with challenges. SAF is still manufactured in limited numbers, and the infrastructure necessary for large-scale manufacturing and delivery has not yet been established. When it comes to production size, SAF is still produced. Cost, SAF is much more expensive than conventional jet fuel, and its cost needs to be reduced before it can be employed on a large basis throughout the aviation sector. Support from the government. To achieve widespread adoption of SAF, police assistance is required. This support can take the form of subsidies, 
tax incentives, and investments in research and development. Examples, Boeing and SAF. Boeing has performed test flights using SAF combined with conventional jet fuel. Boeing has already conducted test flights. Several major airlines, such as United Airlines, Qantas, and Lufthansa, are investigating the possibility of using SAF as a realistic method to cut their emissions. The Flying V of the World Economic Forum presents, in addition to the standard air flight SAF, novel aircraft designs such as the Flying V strive to reduce the amount of fuel that is consumed. With this design, the wings and fuselage are combined into a V-shape, which promises to result in significant savings on fuel use, the highest level of efficiency possible. Although hybrid electric and SAF technologies are considered to be the future of aviation fuel, conventional jet engines are also seeing substantial breakthroughs in their research and development. The development of ultra-high bypass turbofan engines is one example of such invention. While still delivering a significant amount of thrust, these engines are equipped with extraordinarily big fans that have high bypass ratios. This allows for a greater amount of air to bypass the engine core. The fact that they can improve efficiency while simultaneously lowering noise levels makes them a potentially useful technology for commercial aircraft. Advantages, fuel efficiency. Ultra high bypass engines can generate more thrust with less fuel because of their larger fans. This makes them significantly more efficient than prior designs. The increased fan diameter also helps to lessen the noise that is produced by the engine, which contributes to an overall improvement in the experience that passengers have behind the wheel. Increased range. Because of more efficient engines, airplanes can travel greater distances without needing to refuel, which is a crucial feature for travel over long distances. Examples. Pratt & Whitney GTF geared turbofan. This engine makes use of a geared fan system which slows down the rotational speed of the fan. As a result, the engine is more fuel efficient and produces less noise. The Airbus A320neo is one of the planes that already makes use of this technology. Rolls-Royce Ultrafan. Explanation. It is anticipated that the Ultrafan engine will have a reduction in fuel consumption of more than 25% in comparison to its predecessors making it one of the most efficient turbofan engines currently under development. The function of artificial intelligence and automation. The use of artificial intelligence AI and machine learning is becoming increasingly prevalent in the process of designing, operating, and maintaining jet engines. The utilization of these technologies enables a more exact control over the performance of the engine, a more accurate prediction of the maintenance requirements, and an optimization of fuel usage. Advantages. Predictive maintenance. Artificial intelligence can